Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. If you guys missed any of the previous videos, I'll leave the playlist on the top of the description. Also, if you are enjoying the series, make sure you give the video a like. It helps me out big time. And with that being said, I really do hope you guys will enjoy the content. 72 smithing, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77. <laughs> I'm just wondering how much XP I'll get from handing in these supply crates. It could be a lot. Yup, that was 216k, I think. And that was mining XP as well. Whoa, wait a second. That was a lot of XP. Okay, so that strategy will actually be very solid for smithing training. Alright, here we go. Here we go. One more time. There it is. Is that gonna do it? There we go, nice. 80 smithing. But I'll need about 3,000 Lovakite in total, I think. That's why I needed about 3,000 nature runes from Clue Scrolls. Uh, but that is another level 80 stat, and with that we now have 14,430 leak points, which is uh, quite cool. I will soon be completing another AFK session over here. We are almost 32 million, so I spent my evening pretty much just fishing. We started at about 29 million, and we got just a very solid 3 million fishing XP. Um, but yeah, that is very cool. As you can see, we are almost 85 agility from just chilling here, fishing, very nice. I just woke up, and we just got 96 farming, so just 3 more levels to go. Unfortunately, I'm completely out of anti-poisons. And I could go out of my way and make more, but realistically, by the time I get 99 Slayer, I should get some Hydra tasks anyways. Meaning that, uh, you know, I can get the Blue Mystic bottom piece while I do Slayer anyways. And I don't really see a reason to rush Elite Clue Scrolls at the moment anyways. Uh, especially because I have all of these very close to 99 and that's something that I want to focus on. So we're going to change our attitude a little bit. We're not just going to farm Hydras uh, off task. I don't think there is much point to do that. I've killed about, let's see, I've killed in total of 41 Hydras. The drop rate is 1 in 1 to 8 and it's pretty slow to kill them. So I might as well kill them on the task. Now, Right now, we do have Dust Devils for a task, meaning that we will need a mask. But unfortunately, we only have a limited amount of chins right now. So we are starting off on 146 chins. So uh, we're going to go catch a little bit of chins. We're starting on 80 Hunter. I want to get at least 500 to be able to finish the task, I think. So let's go ahead and hunt some chins. And since the last time I was catching there, I can actually plant 5 traps now. So that should be very fun. And uh, I'm looking forward to see how much XP I will actually get. There we go, 81 Hunter, we're up to 249 chins, and I'm apparently getting about 900k XP per hour. Um, so probably one more level to go and I have enough chins to finish the task. Uh, if not, we're gonna do two more levels. Here we go, 82 Hunter, very nice. Uh, we're up to 360 chins, so I think I'll stay here for one more level. Here we go, 491 chins, 83 hunter, and we can now catch dragon implinks. All of those things are very, very cool. Um, however, I don't really think uh, that... Wait, I think we might need 93 actually in order to catch dragon imps so we can catch them barehanded. But anyways, 491 chins should honestly be enough to finish off the task, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Um, but yeah, pretty enjoyable. I can definitely see myself getting this to 99 in just like one day if I really feel like, uh, you know, hunting. Hell yeah, nice. How do I do this though? How much XP is the big guy? That would be actually insane. Let's see. Please. I'm also fine with Dust Staff. Dust Battle Staff would be really insane as well. 30,000 experience and Dark Totem Middle. It appears that 500 chins is not actually enough to finish off the extended Dust Devil task, so I'll definitely be focusing on getting 99 Hunter in the very near future, just so I can stockpile on these chins, because they're gonna be very helpful to finish off 99 Slayer. However, for now, I'll just finish off the tasks with melee, as I do wanna get this 99 Strength and 99 Attack today. Um, but yeah, uh, the chins are gone, feels bad, man, but it is what it is. Getting extremely close to 99 strength, and the dust devils are completed, and we get temple spine, which is perfect, that's exactly what I need, because I need to get myself some super anti-poisons that I do not have right now, and I need those to kill hydras, so this is literally the perfect task for me at the moment. There it is, 99 strength also accomplished, giving me another 250 points. We're now very, very close to uh, 15,000, which is really insane, actually. So now we're just gonna go hard on attack. I'm gonna get two attack levels. 
But then when it comes to defense, I have two options. Uh, I can either train with the deflect or I can throw chins on defensive. So I'm not quite sure what I'll do about that. Um, but yeah, let's just finish 99 attack first. Got about four anti-poisons from the spider task and we are very close to 98 attack. I'm not doing the steel dragons. I have enough points uh, so I can pretty comfortably skip. Red dragons, that is pretty amazing. I'll actually kill the small ones until the point where I can uh, finally be able to... Um, get experience from the... Why can I not speak today? I'll be killing the small... Wait. I'll be killing the small red dragons. Um, fuck. Wait, wait, wait. Um, I'll be killing the small red dragons and... Uh, wait. <laughs> what is... Wrong? Wait. I can't do it. Wait, red... Ba baby dragon bones. Okay. <laughs> wait, man. Dude, I can't fucking do it. So I'll be killing these red baby dragons for the baby dragon bones and then I'll put the bones on the altar until the point where I can get experience. At that point I'll then maybe get my magic gear out of the bank and start killing the big red dragons for the magic XP, the crafting XP and the money. So I think that's the pretty decent plan right now. Uh, let's go ahead and see how many bones we need to start gaining experience. There it is, 98 attack, and what I think I'll do right now, I have some raids planned for about 10-20 minutes. I'll just go ahead and complete a bunch of medium clue scrolls that I have in my bank, because I can do them really fast right now. I'll just go do a bunch of them, maybe get lucky with the boots, because I don't have any of the medium boots yet, and I've completed probably like close to 100 of them. Uh, but let's just quickly sacrifice these and see if we can start gaining experience anytime soon. And there we go, you sense the dark presence from the cursed altar vanish, you'll now gain prayer XP from the you know, uh, bone burner. So now we're getting the XP and now it's basically worth it to do big dragons and train um, crafting at the same time when I get this task. So that is very, very nice. So I want to do a lot of medium clue scrolls as fast as possible. So I'll just be permanently wearing full adamant and Eddie Warhammer, Mithril boots and Ring of Life just so I can do this very fast. Don't mind my inventory. I just didn't know what runes to take. And uh, yeah, we're going to do a lot of clue scrolls right now. I have 70 to do. Um, I'll see. How, I'll, I'll basically do them until the raids are ready. I misclicked. I literally misclicked. I thought I was going to get another step, but green dehyde chaps from the first one. Um, let's do 69 at the same time. Okay, the raid is ready, so uh, we are gonna open five caskets very quickly. Nothing. Uh, okay. Okay. Banner looks kind of cool. Nothing. And okay. Right. Um, boom. <laughs> I was joking, by the way, but yes. Hey, we got a magic level. 87. Very nice. Good luck. Here we go. Raid number three. And we get uh, an elite clue scroll. Wait, that looks kind of cool in there. And uh, quite a lot of Eddie ores, which might come in very handy because I can make ruby bolts with these. Nice. Boys, I'm telling you, man. This one. This one is the one. Please. Please. Fuck. Kurva. All right, what do I get? Oh, okay. I got torn prayer scroll. Yeah, that's kind of good, no? Okay, here we go, four raids in, and we can unlock our first prayer on the account, which is very common, I think, to get. Uh, but now we have Preserve. If you don't know what this does, it pretty much keeps your boosted stats for longer. Will this be useful anywhere? Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> Big brain, dude, just let me know in the comments. There we go, 88 Herblor. I do want to get two more levels pretty much as fast as possible, but I got that level very quickly while I was waiting for another raid. So we're gonna do one more right now, I think, and then we're gonna continue on with the clue scrolls. Good luck, boys. Purple, purple, please. I'm never getting purple, man, I'm telling you. Fuck, dude. Alright, let's see what we get, regardless. Anything good? Ooh, dwarf weed, a lot of them, and a lot of soul runes. Honestly, that's not too bad. It also was a fairly decent point task for me. 18,000? Not too bad. All right, here we go. We finished 20 medium caskets, and then after that, I want to work on 80 mining, uh, and then uh, we should be getting over 15,000 points. But very quickly, let's open these and hopefully get boots from those. Nice amount of purple sweets. Nothing from that one. Another stall. Nothing from that one. My niece is pretty loud downstairs. Five more. Nope. Oh, Sarah Cloak, another one of the cloaks. Another Power Emmy. Nope. Uh uh. Ten more. Nope. Nope. Eight, seven, six. Please, can I get the boots? God damn it. Another cloak. And I didn't even get a single master either. How many have we completed? 96. I really should complete four more. All of that loot would be worth a whole total of um, 860k. So. 
I guess not that little, actually. All those purple sweets are pretty valuable on the main game. I couldn't help myself but to finish four more caskets just so we get the extra points, so let's see what do we get in those. 97, 98, 99 and 100 clue scrolls. We get another cloak, uh, but most importantly we get 100 extra league points, that is very cool. And uh, yeah, I should be seeing about two boots in about 100 clues. I have seen zero boots so far. Uh, the drop rate of any boots is about 1 in 50, 1 in 60, so uh, pretty unlucky when it comes to that, but we're not gonna give up. We're doing 500 of them anyways, so right now I either do mining or some winter Todd. I'll figure it out. Here we go, 85 agility, I've been just editing this video and there's 85 agility and we also did about 5 million experience in Winter Todd, giving me all of these crates that we're gonna open in just a second. So pretty successful, um, pretty nice uh, AFK session and the pages are gonna be huge, we need all the pages that we can get just so we can continue on with the, oh nice. And yeah, we need the pages just so we can continue on using the Tome of Fire. If I put this there, we have 1752 charges. I'll definitely be getting my fire making to either 100 mil or 200 mil. Um, but yeah, Dynamite, very good. Warm Gloves, very good, because if you look at my Pyromancer set, I pretty much have everything and now gloves on top of that, so all I need is boots. Very, very nice. I believe there is an elite task that requires me to get a Runite Ore from Blast Furnace. So I spent the last couple of minutes just uh, doing a couple of inventories of Dynamite and basically Blast Mine. And uh, as you can see, I have a Runite Ore right here, so I should be completing that. But let's also see how much XP we get. 80,000. Okay, so that was that's really good actually for the amount of time it took me. But there it is. Obtain a Runite Ore at the Blast Mine, giving me 250 League Points. And we now have over 15,000 total league points, pushing me very high in the ranks for the total points. I'll check that in just a second. So at the time of recording, I'm actually ranked 207 in Twisted Leagues, and that is without even really going for points. I mean, shit, if I just go for 100 mil fire making, or maybe 200 mil fire making... I get so many points in the process and I really haven't really been working on points at all. If I finish 99 attack, there's 250 points there. 99 defense, 250 points there. These are so many easy 99s here that I can just get. And I think we're gonna try and get to, let's say, top 100. Let's make that the challenge. Obviously, that's gonna be for the future videos, but, um, you know, being 207 at the very moment is very, very cool. So overall rank is 232, and the league point rank is 207. So I think that is a suitable way to end the video. I really hope you guys did enjoy it, and if you did, make sure to give a video a like. Also, a big shout out to my supporters. You can see yourselves on the screen right now. You're really making this possible. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. You guys are awesome. I'll see you again tomorrow at 7 p.m. GMT and until then have a wonderful day Bye-bye